Hey, assalamu alaikum everybody. Um, this is Fatah. I guess this is the first video I've ever made to you guys, um, speaking to you directly. Something that's not Quran, other than Quran. Um, <laughs> this is my friend Wajzi. Assalamu alaikum. He's in Canada with me right now, uh, where we're doing Taraweeh. Alhamdulillah. So inshallah, I'm going to be answering some of the questions you guys posted in the comments uh, on the page. So I, I mean, I'll see what I'll answer. Um, let's see. Well, my question: Will you come Mecca to do the Umrah in Ramadan? I just have to say, I love you guys sometimes when you guys aren't that good in English, and I understand that you're not good. But some of your messages to me and your comments, you guys really just really mess up the grammar. But it's so funny. But I understand what you're saying. It always makes my day when I read a sentence with like the question at the beginning, and like it's just really funny. But um, inshallah, I, I plan on coming to uh, Mecca or Medina if I get a chance. I would love to come. That would be uh, absolutely amazing. I've never been. Um, that would be uh, an awesome experience. And for sure, I would love to go as anyone else would. Um, can you do Islamic lectures and have them taped? I don't do lectures. Uh, the lecture you saw on YouTube was an exception, but I'm not a big fan of giving talks because I like to leave that to the people who actually studied and have something worthwhile to say, you know? Uh, I just like to stick to Quran for now. But inshallah, if I study more, maybe in the future I will uh, do something like that. Um, will you come to Malaysia, Fatih? Once again, I would love to come to wherever you guys live. Uh, if you guys want me to come to your area, just, you know, talk to your masjid, you know, you guys can come up with something, you guys can come fly me out there, and I really don't mind coming. I would love to meet all of you. Uh, that never, you know, sounds like a bad idea. Natra uh, Zainal, or whatever, said, you don't want to grow a beard. I'm going to tell you guys something. This right here, what you see, right here, this is all I've grown in my entire life. 17 years, I've only grown this much. You're not going to, I don't shave, it's just this is all I got. <clears throat> Will you be recording yourself while reading the whole Quran? Um, not the entire Quran. So far, I've only recorded Juz Amma, the 30th Juz, and that took some time. Uh, so doing the whole Qur'an would be pretty difficult uh, at this moment, but inshallah sometime in the future I do plan on doing that. <clears throat> can you hoop though? Yes, I can. <laughs> so who can he? Um, when will the Qur'an recording be available? Uh, inshallah after uh, Ramadan, the, the, the Jazarma is already recorded, we just have to produce it, make it into the CDs, and inshallah then it will be available. London, someone just posted, question mark London. Inshallah I'd love to go once again. Um, you guys just have to bring me out there, inshallah. <clears throat> what maqam do you use when you recite? And what is your advice for someone who wants to recite the Qadi? Um, what maqam do I use? I don't really know the names of the maqam. I like to read Matnahawant, or I think that's the name of it. But other than that, I'm not really familiar with the different um, maqamats and stuff. I don't pay attention to that. I just I just imitate or I just read from like my own. I don't study it or anything like that. But um, if you want to recite like someone, like a Qadi, or if you want to, you know, become a Qadi or whatever, try to find someone who has a voice similar to yours. If you have a deep voice, listen to someone with a deep voice. If you have a light voice, listen to someone with a light voice. That will help you a lot. Because uh, then you get familiar with their tune and then you can, you know, start off using their tune and then you can build your own. Um, are you going to visit Ottawa, Canada? <laughs> Maybe one day, inshallah. Um, have you ever met Mishari Al Afasi? No, I have not met Mishari Rashid uh, Al Afasi, but he is my favorite Sheikh of all time. As you guys can tell, I love to. I read like him naturally. Like that's who I copy on my own. That's who my voice is like. So I listen to him all the time. I have so much of his uh, stuff on my computer and uh, my phone and everything. Alhamdulillah. Uh, he's the one person that I really, really want to meet. Like if I meet him, I'm gonna be so happy. But um, maybe Inshallah one day, that'd be awesome. Um, to memorize the Holy Quran, was that your personal wish or your parents wanted to make you hafiz? Uh, in the beginning, my parents wanted me to become a hafiz, but later on, alhamdulillah, I wanted to do it as well, and then that helped me out. Uh, Isra al Najr, I think, asked, How old are you? I am 17. Uh, my birthday is March 1st, 1995. Um, let's see, what, what helped you memorize the Quran? The best thing that will help you memorize the Quran if you want to memorize the Quran is find a teacher. You need to find a teacher. If you have a good teacher, that will help you. If you memorize on your own, it's going to be very difficult. If you want to memorize the Quran, always find a teacher, someone that can help you. And the last question is... Um, 
do you have a mother or a father? No, I was created from clay. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to worship him. And I don't have a mother or a father. I was created from, like, of course I have a mother and a father. Um, my father is in Germany and my mom lives with me, alhamdulillah. But yeah, so that's all the questions um, I'll be answering for now. Um, how do you pronounce your name? Actually, that's a good one. Let me, I, I just saw that one. Um, the way I pronounce my name is Fatih. That's the Arabic way, Fatih. Um, but I usually just tell people to call me Fatih, or Fa my mom calls me Fatih, because it's uh, just no one can say Fatih here. Trust me. And my last name, huh? Except for me. Except for you and him. <laughs> and if you, anyone that can speak Arabic can say my name, but most people can't speak Arabic. Um, and my last name is pronounced Sefaragic, Gitch, Sefaragic. But that's it. Um, Oh, and someone also asked me, I forgot, I remember reading earlier, if I can speak Arabi. I, I studied Arabic for one year, um, and I can only speak very little. Not that much, very little. So I don't understand a lot of it. I can just speak very little and understand very little. But inshallah, I plan on uh, studying even more and being able to speak completely fluently, inshallah, one day. But that's going to end the uh, video for now. Um, maybe if I do this again, you guys can uh, ask me some more questions, and I'll answer them, inshallah. But assalamu alaikum for now, and I hope you guys all have a blessed Ramadan. Mm -hmm.